Today we're going to talk about Nordic condos. The Platinum VIP sale has begun. It will be released to the public soon. You know how it works. The first stage gets the best prices and the best selection. And then the prices go up and the selection dwindles until the price is at max and there's no more selection sold out. Okay, more or less that's the linear. So let's look at Nordic Condo. It's a fantastic investment opportunity. You know, I don't bring anything to the market. I don't like to uh, blast you endlessly. I'd only put the stuff I really like. <clears throat> so, <coughs> excuse me, a uh, quick intro. Yossi Kaplan, Toronto real estate agent and mortgage broker with Search Realty and Search Mortgage, twitter.com slash Yossi Kaplan, where you're going to get all the updates right here. YossiKaplan.com, <coughs> my site where I put pre-construction, lots of links to selling by area. You want to see prices of any resales, they're right here. All this stuff's happening right here. Okay. Um, here is my YouTube channel. Thank you everyone for liking, subscribing, commenting, uh, positive or negative. Every comment helps. Okay. So thank you very much. Um, earlier today, I, re I released the window of opportunities closing. Uh, it talks about how prices are so high. I did another project here, 1,400 foot, 1,500 foot. Uh, that's a big problem because that does that just does not enable you um, to buy a condo and break even on it or even to uh, sell it again, flip it because the price is so high. Hold on one second. All right. Back. So that's the problem. So I've been looking for condos which are uh, more reasonably priced just like Nordic condos, okay? So I'm going to skip all these introductions and go to the uh, torontocondos.sale.com slash Nordic condos. Uh, so if you go to um, torontocondosforsale.com, that's my new website. Go to pre-construction section right here, okay? And you can scroll down to Nordic or you can do a search, N-O-R-D-I, Nordic condos. There you go. Okay, I'm going to apply that, and you get Nordic Condos, 500 Wilson Avenue, uh, West in Toronto, so that's Wilson and Bathurst, uh, jump to the map, and then I'm going to show you where it is, I'm going to explain to you why this is a good investment in my opinion, and how it works, okay? So here we are, uh, let's go on the map first, because location, location, location is everything, and we are the, uh, in the intersection of Allen and 401, so basically Bathurst and 401, major 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 area in Toronto obviously the Jewish community uh, concentrated here uh, but also York University is right here very very important okay that's huge there's a lot of students I think the largest university in Ontario is York okay 47 is, is just nearby 400 uh, just nearby location is fantastic definitely underserved underserved area of Toronto um, Downsview Airport's right here, Downsview Park's right here. All along Wilson, there's a lot of uh, properties being built. Uh, some of them have already serviced years ago, like 525 Wilson and all these condos. You can see here, Nordic's going to come right here um, where that, those, uh, rental, that rental is right now. They're going to take it down and put Nordic condos. And all along this area here, it's already spoken for for new condos. So this entire... Uh, corner, very, very busy corner of the city is going to be built. You can get in here for a thousand dollars a foot or less, 800 something a foot. Let's look at the brochure and a few uh, prices. This is what the render looks like, absolutely gorgeous. Uh, this should be Wilson here and left is north, so the graded area is facing north and the big wall is facing south towards Wilson. Okay, there you go. Uh, there will be the east or the west view. Okay, and this is a very good render here that uh, we received, uh, site context. So what's, what's in context here? So this is the project, it's huge, okay? Uh, it's got a little park, uh, it's got a, a bunch of live-work units, there's only eight of them. I think it's only work actually, not live, because I didn't see uh, showers in there. I'll show you in a minute in the floor plans. And uh, a few hundreds of condos, they're well designed. Uh, they're designed specifically for investors that want to invest and get rents from students going to York uh, or from people living and working in the area, okay? And that, um, that area down here, that's going to be uh, 30 tippet here, uh, uh, Treddy Condos, 
uh, Monte Quinter, four and six Tippet, these two buildings, station condos here, Rockets here, uh, 525 Wilson, like I mentioned, and that's right here, okay? So Wilson Heights. Uh, absolutely gorgeous, large, you know, like as the world advances, those buildings will become larger and larger. It's still not a tower, it's spread out. Um, and that gives you, uh, here's a little park, and it's kind of a dog walking area here. Okay, and then, and then you're going to have nice views because everything around you is pretty low in terms of height. Okay, so here's living at Anori Condos, very nice. Uh, you can also see that it's not all glass, it's maybe 50-50 or 60-40. I think I read somewhere it was 60-40, 40% window. So that kind of breaks from the pattern of Toronto and kind of gives it a bit of um, life, you know. Uh, which is kind of nice. Uh, so it's nice to see all these glass tower condos, but there's so many of them, we need some change. So that's, that's a beautiful change. Uh, Nordic, so you know, use of natural materials, a lot of white and creams and beiges and natural colors. Uh, here's a section for kids, so family friendly, lots of three bedrooms. Uh, here they show you some of the engineering, uh, the geothermal, uh, the little parquets, the park they're going to put here. The dog pee area, they call it pet relief area, I call it dog pee area, okay, some of the green patches on the roof, very good, it, 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 it's well designed, uh, here number four, there are eight work units right here, um, as far as I understand, they're facing Wilson, as I understand, uh, retail is not allowed, but you can know, I can see an office here, I can see a real estate office maybe, uh, or, or someone, a design studio, uh, computer company, whatever it is, I'll have to look deeper at what the allowed uses are not. Uh, and here, these are the structures will come on top with the gardens in the middle, the park, the pet relief area, the entrance from the east side uh, of Wilson. Okay, so here you go. Uh, the lobby, you can see these uh, icicles like lights that coming down, quite Nordic. Uh, and again, those, uh, those nice uh, plain design that you used to from like Swedish architecture of the 70s. It's kind of reminiscing here. Okay, that also look about like the Bradland Brandt uh, building, um, you know, which is quite common for modern architecture. Overall, I really like the architecture. It looks really nice to me. I'm, I'm quite impressed with uh, what they've done here. Um, the unit design, these are the rendering, the ideas, the, the uh, artist's uh, render look really nice. <clears throat> and if you go, you can download this from my website or email me and I'll send this to you, including the prices and the floor plans, of course. But overall, <clears throat> you can see there's a lot of prep work being done here, a lot, a lot of prep work being done here to really look into the area and how to make uh, an area that was, you know, not the talk of the day, uh, making the Wilson Heights into like a great place to live. And here they show you the Nordic condos, the Treddy condos, so their neighbors, the TTC stop here, Yorkdale just a stop south of you, and two stops north. Uh, there's the Go and uh, and um, Nelmsview Park, and north of that uh, you'll find uh, York University, Highway 407, and Vaughan Metro Center. So a very good. If you zoom out and you look at the area, you you're quite in the middle. They say here York University is 11 minutes, even half hour to York is much better than anything else, okay? And it's brand new and it's lovely and it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, here, this is the worksheet, so you can buy a unit right now. Uh, this is a platinum phase. If you're watching this video a little later, it may not be the platinum stage, but we may still have units, so ask me what's available, what incentives I have today for you. Um, obviously, in the VIP platinum, there's all kinds of incentives. The prices are low, the parking is a discount, uh, the locker may be at a discount. Uh, the assignment fee is at a discount, um, look for the capped closing fees and so on and so forth. And the deposits will also be uh, stretched a little longer usually for the VIP section for those investors who are willing to go with us and jump right in. Okay, now I'm going to skip uh, the exact prices. Um, I will have them, just the developer asked me not to expose them right away because it's still in the very, very initial stages. So uh, we're going to respect the developer and only show you what's available publicly. Uh, this information, although it's not posted, uh, you can get it emailed, exact same document, that's okay. Uh, and most important to know is the one bedroom started at 460, the one plus den at 500, the two bed at 550, which is amazing. Tight designs, the three beds, three and den, five, 600, 650. 
stretch deposit, uh, parking 45 for VIP, 50 regular, uh, overall very, very good. And when you look at these plans, and that's really what I care for when I buy an investment unit, especially in the below $1,000 a foot, which is my target price, uh, these designs are small, but are very, very efficient. So this is a unit 419 square feet. I don't necessarily recommend buying the smallest unit unless the design is really good. Here, obviously, the kitchen and the living room is kind of one, so it's going to be hard to like spread yourself out in such a small space. Nonetheless, it's a good enough space for a student <clears throat> or a young person to sit here and live here for cheap. But right away, even this 440 is a fantastic design with the kitchen is at the back. Kudos to the architects of Nordic that have broken that terrible design of the kitchen goes all the way to the front and you can't sit. They've done actually very, very good. I'm very, very happy with the floor plans here and the design of the building. Um, very, very good. Kudos to the architects and, of course, the developer. They hired them and all work together. As you can see here, <coughs> you come in here, kitchen on your left, a bath tucked in. Everything's okay. The master has a tiny little window. Good enough. These are value units. Okay, here's another unit, uh, similar, <clears throat> but this one is not an inside corner like this one, so it's got more light, it's got a large balcony, and the layout's very good with the L-shaped kitchen to save on space. So these units are very good. I mean, if you look at these designs, they are very, very good design. There's, there are no bad designs here. I like them all. This is very good. 479 square feet with a small little balcony. <clears throat> you know, I like to see the balcony be larger, but that's part of the design. Nonetheless, the den is tiny and it's good for a computer room. You can actually crash in there if you don't mind the size, but it's possible to crash in there for a single bed. Master bedroom is enough for a bed. Okay, living dining room, good space, kitchen in the back, elk shape, very good. Once you get into the OnePlus den, you get a bit more space, but the amazing part here is once you get into the two bedrooms, okay, this type of two bedrooms, they're very, very good, and especially this type here, the E1D. The E1D at Nordic will be the top, uh, my top pick because this is the floor plan that I like to see. That's a split floor plan. We've seen it in some developers, you know, um, Plaza, Urban, uh, a lot of these developers that build uh, value buildings for investors use this design. This is one of the better ones because it's got two bathrooms, not one. The kitchen is a very back. A two bedrooms are separated with a living room in the middle. One bedroom, the master, the one on the left here, it's a light, slightly larger and it gets an ensuite in its own walk-in closet. The second bedroom is slightly smaller. It's got the HVAC unit in, so it's got, probably going to pump. It's going to have a grill in the room, so that could be a little loud in a second bedroom. Uh, unless it's uh, the vent is to the other side of the living room, which will be better. And then you won't hear it. I'm not sure which way they're going to do it, but hopefully it's going to exit to the living room. Uh, the kitchen in the back here. And you can have two people living here. And they don't have to be related. They can be two roommates, two students, uh, two friends, two professionals. Could be a couple with a baby or a couple without a baby. But there's a lot, a lot of these units here. The developer is expecting to sell a lot of these units. And at this price, I think it's a very, very good um, possibility for investors, okay? Now, the balcony is small. It's basically what we call a smoking balcony. Just come out, have some fresh air. You may not spend the whole afternoon there, but you could, you know, uh, fair enough. Um, and then from there, the rooms become larger. The, unit becomes, the units uh, become larger, but the designs still hold so the designs are still good, you see. They're nice and boxy and square. Um, I really like this 582. I think it's very nice. Um, these units here, slightly larger, 643, but if you're looking for a unit which is quality and lots of light and a giant balcony, this is it. Uh, this is really nice, especially on a high floor. I think this unit will be really, really good and very successful, okay? And this one is facing south south you can see here there it is at the bottom okay so that's cool um, here is another uh, this is a, a proper corner unit facing south and and uh, west uh, on an angle right to Wilson very nice kind of an elongated stretch with a large living room pretty cool the kitchen is tucked at the back this is a very smart design they've done a really good job considering the spaces are so small and the building jets around so 
to really maximize the amount of living space and the amount of windows and light, um, and it's not an all glass building. So you get some privacy, you get some quiet time, it's a little quieter, it's not even that cold because when you get all glass, you know, it gets a bit cold or can get a bit hot. Uh, so those are very, very nice. I really like these designs. And if you're looking for a value place to buy and live, or maybe slightly a long-term investment, I mean, look at this unit here. It's only 661 square feet, but it's got a massive, massive terrace. So you're getting over 1,000 square feet total. Imagine how much fun could be living in there. The massive bedroom has an ensuite. The den has a bath. The bedroom has a bath. And, you know, that den could be used for anything you want, or just maybe this doesn't look structural. Maybe just open it up and have, like, a nice, large... Uh, living space with the kitchen at the back. Very, very nice, my friends. These are nice units. Uh, this one is facing north, if I read it correctly. Um, I like it. It's got light from all directions. Remember, North East Toronto is not true north, okay? It's it's uh, northwest, so it will get afternoon uh, sun in the summer months and in the spring months, okay? From here, the units uh, go a little larger, and they're very nice box, done well large terrace some dogs barking in the background if you can hear that's living in condos for you here's the police that's what happens but you can see here now this uh this is only 810 square feet but it's a corner unit good design that's three bedroom that's a very good investment in my opinion especially because you can do it into three sources of income right three students three tenants three people can share this unit um a couple and a baby uh, a couple and two kids, you know, you need to live there for cheaply, there you go. So I think this could be very, very good investments. And of course, uh, the work unit, yeah, it doesn't say live work, it says work unit. I don't think you can live here because there's no shower. Uh, but those are good spaces. There are 17 six wide by 40 feet long. There's only eight of those. Um, looks pretty good to me because you have access from the street, from Wilson, and you have exposure to Wilson. Now I was told I was told it's not um, retail allowed. I'm not sure the exact uses, but I imagine it's more for an office or studio kind of type. Okay, only eight, so it could be very very good investments uh, for these guys. Okay, here's the worksheet. Um, as you know, I've had some videos about how to buy pre-construction condos, but basically you look at the units you want, you pick your three uh, choices. And then you go to the worksheet, uh, which you can download from me, or I can email you one if you like. You fill in your name. You fill in your, your information. Uh, you attach your ID. So just that we know that no one's buying a condo in your name. Imagine a uh, developer calls and says, Mr. Kaplan, uh, come sign for the condo you bought. Say, what are you talking about? <laughs> so um, just to make sure that you are you, you know, we collect the ID. That's a government thing. Okay, that's a government of Ontario thing. Again, the location is fantastic. Lots of traffic. If you need to be in a place where you need to drive out, uh, that's very good. If you want to be close to uh, York, I'll zoom out. Uh, there is York right here, so it's not very far. Let me show you the directions to York University. York U. Okay, it's 7.4 kilometers. So you can cycle it, you can walk, you can walk it, takes a bit, you can Uber, you can take the bus, of course, anything you want. There's a stop right here, and 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 there's a stop right here. And I'm sure there's many other ways uh, to get there. Probably there's a few people at the condo that also are working or studying at York. So I'm sure there'll be a lot of car sharing uh, business going on. So that's Nordy Condos. Um, it is available right now. You can download prices uh, from me. You can download the floor plans right me, uh, through me. You can get the information package right now. We are selling right now. Uh, do yourselves a favor. Look at this project. It's not a downtown project, but I think it's got a very, very high value. I really, really like the design. I really like the floor plans. I think this could be a very, very good uh, project for you. Um, Nordy Condos, yossikaplan.com, um, where is torontocondosforsale.com, Nordy Condo, it's all available, thank you very much, all your questions, please send to me, this is on sale right now, 
So come and invest in Nordic condos. Yossi Kaplan, give me a shout and I'll set you up. Thank you very much. That's it for today.